everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome so today I'm gonna to be testing out some more Pat McGrath so recently she had a sale on her website and I picked up two things because I wanted to take slight advantage of that sale because normally I don't really pick up a lot of her stuff unless it was something really special so the last thing that I did pick up was part of her Star Wars collection and I quite like that collection the stuff that I got was decent but the two things that I got today I was so freaking happy about so two things I got I believe were less than like 60 pounds and for Pat McGrath that is like pretty much unheard of because at least one of her products can be 60 70 plus pounds so I have two things to use today the first thing that I want to talk about is a blush trio it's the divine blush and glow trio so this is in amber allure so I believe this is like this kind of deeper tones and I think I got this for about maybe 18 19 pounds when I think normally something like this it's probably about 45 pounds or if that so inside you get two gorgeous blushes and a highlighter so I'm super super excited because I mean I've never tried her blushes before and I really wanted to get one and when I saw that the trio was available I was like I have to pick up one of these so I do have my base on already and yeah I just wanted to like go into this so I'm not sure what shade to try you've got Venus next to her Paradise Venus and Love Struck, which is a highlighter so I'm gonna go in I think with this one just here which again is called Venus Nectar so I'm just gonna take one of my fluffy brushes and I'm just gonna tap and go everywhere I'm so excited because again I've never tried any of her blushes before and I've heard some very very nice things so so far this is coming off very pink which is fine by me because I mean I love all type of blushes you know I'm not um, against any of the blushes I'm not the biggest fan of like pink pink blushes but I think nowadays I'm kind of becoming a bit more open-minded to different type of blush so this is absolutely stunning I think I might have put too much on which is never in my vocabulary but in all honesty like <laughs> it's me I love to wear like a lot of blush so I'm just gonna kind of blend it out because again I think that might be just a tad a tad uh, much but it is very very pigmented and especially for um a palette which is normally i think like i mentioned like i'm pretty sure normally it's about 40 plus pounds and then one blush by itself is probably around 28 pounds so i've always wanted to try them but now that i have this little trio i'm very happy next time i will try this middle one because it does look deeper than i normally go for but you know what it's still pretty nice so let's go in with this highlighter so it looks like a kind of pinky peach one so I'm excited to see kind of what it does there's a lot of fallout in this so I'm just gonna be quite careful <laughs> and um, let's just kind of get this on oh oh that's very nice I'm not sure how much her highlights are by themselves I think they must be similar in price like 28 plus pound but again I'm just very happy that I put okay so I am looking slightly crazy even when I'm looking in my mirror I'm like okay that's probably a bit too much blush but you know what we're just gonna go with it because um yep yeah, I love me some blush so we are now gonna go on to the eyes so I'm so excited about this I only own like two Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes and they are very very affordable ones so one of them is my Darth Vader palette from the Star Wars collection and then another one which is like all shimmers which I still really really like I got it at a very affordable price but then the one that I have today oh my god I was super shocked that it was in her sale but it's the Celestial Nirvana palette oh my god so this is normally about £85 and even that for me is too damn expensive like when we look at inside I can like just can't believe the colour selection which is stunning this is the outside packaging so I thought I would just show you guys that first because it is pretty damn cute and then we have the palette itself so I don't think this has even been out for I would say a year yet I don't think it's been out a year because I was looking at um people's YouTube reviews and a lot of them have been like uploaded six to eight months ago so I think this is still kind of a quote-unquote new-ish palette I won't say it's new in like the makeup world anymore because things are like new and old in the space of like a week but um yeah when you open the palette it is 
such a gorgeous shade selection there's a lot of blues there's a lot of kind of like purple tones so for me it is right up my street and I felt like you know what I think I got it for about 28 pounds or something like that but I'd get off the plastic as well and yeah it was like yeah I'm pretty sure it was like 28 or 30 pounds or something and I was like you know what I cannot not go for this and I bought it clearly because it's in my hand so I don't know what kind of look I want to do today I looked on um her like the Pat McGrath YouTube channel and I saw that um one model had done like three different looks were actually stunning um I kind of just want to go for like maybe some of the peachier and kind of neutral tones so I'm actually just going to quickly go off camera and prime my lid and then we will get on with it okay now we're primed and ready to go I will put up some swatches like I always do and then let's get on with this kind of look here today so I'm going to start off with this middle shade just here which is called bronze in, in no bronze infatuation it would help if I could read so I'm just going to use that as my kind of transition shade I'm not going to go too heavy because I have seen that these are quite pigmented and for me it I, so I just remembered I actually have three Pat McGrath palettes not that it's majorly important right now but I realized I have one of her other palettes that I got again part of a sale bundle so um I've tried her um formula before and I do really really like it I think it kind of takes a while for me to kind of understand why these are so expensive but I mean I'm always on the lookout for a sale hence when I, I think I saw it on um maybe her Instagram or something to say that they were on sale and I was like I have to go and have a look at her site to see what's there so I'm just going to get this first shade on so that's gone on very nicely very smooth and not patchy at all which is what I like next I'm going to go in with this top shade which is called cosmic champagne really okay I don't know if the nod the letters are um back to front so I think we've got this issue again um but I seem to have with all palettes where I think the names are um opposite ends from each other so I believe this is actually called flame for tell and then I'm now going to go in with this top one which I believe is called Auburn Allure I don't really understand when brands do that please don't please tell me I'm not the only one who gets very confused by um brands when they mix up the names because I mean I don't know if I'm just being completely stupid I know I am being completely stupid but um it's slightly annoying because I don't read things back to front I read things literally so <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only person in this kind of situation that would kind of do that let me know if um you struggle with that as well so I'm just gonna get this second shade blended in okay I think I've got back in with that first shade just to kind of make things a little bit higher because my lids are so kind of hooded that trying to get any kind of color without it going too high and making it look too crazy but so far this is going on very very nicely um i'm now going to go in with another shade let's see what we can probably go in with i mean this pink is a bit too pink for me because <laughs> the pink is not really a look i want to go for um but let's go in with some shimmers because we're going with two shimmers i'm going to go in with this one which is called fabulousity no fabulousity i guess i guess so we're going to go with that one i'm going to take a little fluffy brush and this does look quite pink toned but i am just gonna kind of take it onto the middle bit here not too bad and now we're going with one more shimmer just to kind of top it all off and then maybe add an inner corner as well so i'm going to go in with this shade which is called Starlit Copper. So we'll go that we'll go in with that one in kind of the ends here to kind of top off the look. So I'm just gonna bring that here. I mean these are very pigmented, very shimmery, but I really don't think <laughs> I still don't understand why these palettes are so freaking expensive. If someone can explain to me, and I don't know if it's just because of Pat McGrath's name, because obviously she is a very very well known makeup artist in the industry and she's been doing this for a very long time um, and I know that she has a very big reputation and her makeup is very very nice and it is the same with Charlotte Tilbury as well like their makeup is great and it is absolutely stunning but are we really paying this much money for you know a lot of the quality but you know 
it's a treat <laughs> i treat myself every so often so i'm going to finish off with maybe this shade just here which is called um <clears throat> cosmic champagne this is actually cosmic champagne so we're going to go in with that with the inner corner and we're just going to tap it where we obviously have the inner corner for popping does that look good it looks good in my mirror but does it look good on camera we probably doubt it but yeah that's very nice and you can even like i know a lot of people do nose oh, nose contouring and like nose shimmery and stuff but you know what as a palette it is very very nice it, would i have paid 80 pounds for it no i mean it's again so out of my price range that i would only get it obviously in a situation like this where it's as low as it can be and the quality again absolutely stunning i mean let me know if you've got this palette because um i don't know what kind of looks you've done do you think it's worth the money and now i'm just going to finish off with a pat mcgrath lipstick i've had this for a while but i've got this like part of a cell bundle it's in the shade soft core and we are just going to kind of go everywhere <laughs> on my lips and this is my finished look so all together I really really love this palette I mean this is the blush and highlighter palette damn too pigmented in my look in my eye because it was just stunning I mean even when I'm looking in my mirror I look like a fucking clown but you know what I embrace it I like it I can't wait to try the other shade because that one looks just as pigmented as well the highlighter is absolutely stunning the eyeshadow palette again I really really like it would I pay 85 pounds for it absolutely not and it's the same with like Natasha Denona and all these other kind of really expensive palettes that I would love to try but you know what I just can't really justify it I would rather have I'd rather spend like I don't know 85 pounds on a couple of medium sized palettes and it build up the worth for it and to be honest when you look at the color selections it is a really nice selection of shades so it's not like it's an all neutral palette or it's an all kind of like just one tone palette it's a nice mixture so I will get a lot of use out of this and again I'm always looking for a bargain so if she ever does another kind of sale I will maybe consider picking up some more stuff but let me know what you've picked up from Pat McGrath if you've picked up anything recently is it worth it is it overhyped and thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe because i film and upload every time i get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because i'm always active on there and i really appreciate you guys watching i hope to see you in the next one Bye -bye.